Here we go, Chad. Here we go. Forbes decided. Hello, YouTube. Hi. Uh, you um, Forbes decided to put out an article that I found a little bit interesting, and um, I don't know. I didn't look it over, look over it too much. Uh, I was really busy, but this is my first time reading it completely. The first descendant has a big ultimate hero problem. The first descendant is now promoting in full its first season, which launches a new hero, the ice sniper Haley, and a new ultimate descendant upgrading Freyna. The problem is that these ultimate descendants release have really thrown a wrench into one of the core grinds of the game, acquiring and upgrading existing characters. The core issue here is that it does not seem worth it to spend dozens of hours, millions of gold, nearly a dozen catalysts and energy activators to fully invest into a normal character when in theory you should wait to grind out the ultimate version when it arrives, whenever that is. And that is big facts. This is a huge problem with the first descendant. Something that a lot of players should already know and have probably already ran into this problem when they're leveling up their Volbies. And then all of a sudden there's an ultimate Volby and your previous descendant is absolutely useless. You have um, catalyzed your, your descendant. And I know that some people's, um, I guess cope here is like, hey, you play for fun, you play for right now, and you know, whatever happens in the future happens in the future, which is a take that I myself had uh, very early on. Um, but that's a big problem with people that don't have a lot of time to invest in the game or even money to swipe for these catalysts. For people that are whales out there, it doesn't really matter because your beluga ass can just swipe for more things. But it does kind of affect the player that does not have that much time and that type of money to spend on this. So it kind of sucks that your descendant becomes absolutely useless when the ultimate version comes out. There needs to be a way to incorporate an absorption of your previous character and then transfer it over to the ultimate or i don't know when you dismantle the basic it gives you all your materials back something needs to be addressed here because what is going to get somebody assuming the luna class was good what is going to get somebody to just wait for when luna comes out because if you do invest on luna heavy right now assuming we could probably pick a better character to example here. But uh, example, Freyna. There's a lot of people who invested on Freyna or people that were hesitant about uh, doing it for Freyna. But they're like, you know what? Freyna might be the last character that we get this ultimate. So let me just do it. And boom, ultimate uh, Freyna is announced. And everything that you did prior means absolutely nothing anymore. You've wasted a catalyst. You've wasted everything. I do think that this is this could be a problem like right now say i really wanted to um invest in ajax do i really want to though since season two is coming out do i want to waste all my catalyst on ajax with maybe um a two months from now we're going to get an ultimate ajax i could just funnel i could just do another character instead of doing the one that i actually want to play i don't know it's a little bit it's a little bit um weird i wonder how they're planning to handle this but this is something that needs to look into needs to be looked into give us some way to get rid of all that or i don't know something implement something um let's continue reading this article they did this at launch by default with ultimate versions of all three starter characters meaning whenever investing you made in your first character would likely result in an underpowered version and for those of you who do not know a basic descendant versus an ultimate descendant there is a huge difference number one we have stats the stats your hp your defense and um i don't know if mana pool but um, you do get better stats as an ultimate descendant. So just playing with a basic descendant is just underpowered. Not only that, but they also lock some of the better um, character modules behind ultimate. Like if you are a Volby and you're like, man, I want to, um, but I'm, I don't care about ultimate Volby because I already have Volby all catalyst out. Well, guess what? 
you're missing out on one of the most crucial mods right now in the game for gluttony the fight because you are not wanting to upgrade to uh, ultimate volby that mod is kind of nice you can beat the game without the mod but i mean you're kind of still nerfed in a way you're not playing the best possible volby out there and i do think that that is a problem so ultimate descendants are just a must-have over their counterparts um uh, for many characters let's continue reading my characters this is important lepic is the best boss a burner in the game with its ultimate mod bunny becomes an even better mob clear with ultimate mod it's always uh, the case they're better but you just don't really know until they arrive and as such i've seen many people say they're not bothering to really go hard on any character except the ultimates and are waiting for new ones to be released before bothering there needs to be a way to when an ultimate comes out to consume at least half of the catalyst or something i don't know what they want to incorporate but that is honestly true truly tragic tragic game design without a solution right now yeah yeah and there's a there's a lot of reasons there's reasons why people are not investing into enzos there's people that are not really um, investing into Eugens. A uh, well, Ajax exists. Well, Ajax was a really bad example earlier. Uh, scratch the Ajax thing. But you know what I'm saying. You catch what I'm trying to say with this. I forgot that Ajax. <laughs> Who plays the Ajax? <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to bring this up to um, your attention. And maybe um, you guys can continue the chatter in my comment section. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. But yeah, we need to talk about this. We need to fix this. Maybe season one has a solution. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment, a like, and subscribe. And cut. Hey, YouTube. Yeah, you. YouTube, you know that the success of this channel relies heavily on you. Viewers like you. By hitting the comment, like, and subscription button, you help me really, 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 really a bunch. More than you ever know. You could even put it on mute and walk away, you know, or lower the volume and walk away. But all the success of this channel relies on you. And I'm very thankful if you hit that comment, like, and subscription button. Also, follow my social medias. Twitter. My Twitter, I put out new art, new stuff. If you want to see more of this... Follow me everywhere, Twitch everywhere, everywhere. I give you my permission, my consent. Go, go. Now, um, hit the follow, comment, like, subscribe, Twitter, Twitch, everything. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.